Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we continue. So we can see for your app poster. So you do the same thing as what you have done for your uh, app bench. So you look at the uh, for step four. You want to allocate the overhead cost to the product. So that means you take the uh, expected use of the cost driver for your app coaster. So you have identified for your app coaster here. You use twenty thousand machine hours for app bench. Just now you use thirty thousand. So you just look at the app coasters. So for your app coaster, you require twenty thousand machine hours, one thousand five hundred setups, one thousand seven hundred and fifty purchase order, one product develop, and fifteen thousand square feet. So out of that. So for your app coaster, you have all those cost drivers. So the expected use of that cost driver, and then you times with your overhead base or uh, the activity base overhead rates that you have already calculated, and then you just times two hundred uh, twenty thousand times ten ringgit gives you two hundred thousand. One thousand five hundred times fifty gives you seventy five thousand, and so on. So you get all together four hundred and forty uh four hundred and forty thousand. Uh, ringgit divided by the number of units that you have produced. So for your app coaster, you produce five thousand. For your app bench, just now you produce twenty five thousand units. So you will get eighty eight ringgit per unit. That is your overhead cost per unit. Then you compare with the traditional method that you have already worked out previously. So if you look here. For the app bench, if you are using the traditional costing, the total direct cost per unit is eighty two. And for your uh, ABC technique, remember you've got for the app bench, you've got eighteen ringgit and fourteen uh, eighteen ringgit and forty cent. That is the overhead cost. So the material and labor, the direct material and direct labor, it is the same whether you are using the traditional or whether you are using the ABC. The direct material cost remains the same okay direct materials the direct labor remains the same the difference just lie in your overhead treatment okay this one is based on the traditional method your uh, overhead just now is 30 ringgit per unit but if you are using the activity based costing you can see that for app bench the cost is 18 ringgit and 40 cent per unit so you add all this together gives you a total cost of 70 ringgit and 40 cent if you are using the abc if you are using the traditional costing method that gives you an uh, a figure of 82 ringgit per unit okay total direct uh, total cost per unit or total manufacturing cost per unit so you you can see that uh, this one has been overstated the difference is 11 ringgit and 60 cent 82 minus 70 ringgit and 40 cent gives you 11.6 so this one, why do you say that it has been overstated? Because if you are using the activity-based costing, the cost is only 70.4. But now you have identified the cost as 82. You have over cost. You have overstated the cost by 11.6. What about the app coaster? If you are using the traditional method, so the as I said, the direct material and direct labor remains the same. The difference just lie in the treatment of your overhead. So if you are using the traditional method, the overhead is 30 ringgit. But if you are using the activity-based costing, you have seen just now this one. If you are using the ABC for the app coaster, the overhead cost is 88 ringgit. So 88 uh, ringgit here so gives you a total of 130 if you are using the abc technique if you are using the traditional method the cost is only 72 so the cost should be 130 but traditionally you only calculated your cost as 72 so that means you have understated the cost by 58 ringgit so what's the implication that we can see here so if you can see the implication of uh, having this is that if that product has been overstated, that means the overpricing of app bench and possibly losing market share to competitors. Why? Because your cost is only uh, 70.4, but you already calculated your cost as 82. So that means if you charge, you, the, you calculate the selling price, most likely you will charge higher. Yeah, uh, uh, if you are using the traditional costing, you will charge the selling price higher. So if you overcharge your product, then you overprice your product. So you you have the possibility of losing your market share to your competitors because people may 
be reluctant to buy your product because they can get the uh, product at your uh, at your competitors at a cheaper price for example and then what's the implication for your app coaster so you tend to sacrifice the profitability by underpricing your product now your cost is uh, 130 but what's uh, if you are using the traditional then you you are saying that your cost is only 72 so if let's say you just uh, you sell your product at 110 ringgit uh, sorry uh, so let's say you sell your product at 110 ringgit and then you would say that you are making profit. In, in fact, you are making losses because your cost is not 72, but your cost is actually 130. So that is uh, the consequence of this, that you are sacrificing your profitability by underpricing your app coaster. So um, that's the, basically the benefit of using the activity-based costing and when you want to assign the, your OVID cost to your product. So it reflects the uh, more accurate cost for your product. Okay. So ABC will give you a more accurate costing information and thus it will lead to a more accurate pricing decision. In, uh, in addition, it will also help. Uh, it will also help you to identify the activity, and then by identifying which other activity, uh, so which activity that can uh, lead to a better management decision, as well as it can give you a more uh, accurate information. Okay, more accurate information, as well as help you to identify if there were to be any non-value added activities, then you can eliminate the non-value added activities and you can direct the uh, resources towards enhancing the value added activities. Okay, hopefully you have a better understanding on the calculation of the activity-based costing compared to the traditional method. So with that, I thank you.